Pre-planning multiplayer missions has recently gotten much easier. Hey guys, Emils here, and today we'll be checking out the new dynamic slots and route tool for DCS multiplayer. Alright, let's get into it. So right as you load in, you should get this prompt which shows you that there is a new multiplayer server interface. So you can uh, select if you want it to show up next time or just not show up at all anymore. And then you get this screen where you can choose which coalition you want to join. This could be useful in servers like Cold War, the Cold War server. Uh, on 4y8 though, there's only the blue side and uh, for each side sh should show up um, what uh, each player has selected as an aircraft and also all the available slots. Now in the 4y8 case, this shows also the ones that aren't available, I'm pretty sure. So like f across all airfields, I think. So and then you can uh, click to join the coalition and then you can press this join button. You can also go back to spectators and you can just spectate. So if you join the boat, join. Now you get to see all the available roles. There's spawn slots and there's dynamic slots. On 4YA's case, you want to use dynamic slots. So let's uh, check out the dynamic slots. You can choose any of the aircraft carriers here on, on 4YA or you can choose the airfields. In this case, let's choose Incirc, and then this window pops up. It also jumps to the airfield. And you can select whatever aircraft is you want and it is available at this airfield. So for example, we can choose the F-16. You can do everything like the armament menu, select your loadout beforehand. So let's say GBU-12s, uh, liveries, and you can also select if you want spawn hot or you want spawn cold. So let's say responding hot, and if you press OK, then you are going to load into your aircraft. Like so. As you can see, it is raining in, in, at the Encirc airbase. Oh, we're in a hangar. Uh, that doesn't make sense. All right, but now let's check out how you can pre-plan and set up waypoints before you get into the aircraft. So to do this, you first want to not choose any of the slots. You can select what airfield you want to go to and then you load in at that airfield. Now we can release this slot that we had selected. So here we are at Incirc, we're gonna put this to the side. And let's say we would want to fly over here to Hatai, attack Hatai. So we are going to press this little button here, which is like little waypoints, and you have the route tool. So now it pretty much works exactly the same as the waypoint tool in the mission editor. So we can select, um, let's see, our first waypoint when we take off. Boom, that's waypoint one. Then we can go for, let's say, waypoint two, which is going to be right past the Mount Wowie and turning into Hatai. And then waypoint three can be the attack waypoint on Hatai. Now we can also press edit. Be more precise if you want to. And then add more waypoints, let's say we exit here, and then we go back into our formation here. Boom, that should be far enough, yeah. And, uh, oops, 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 too many tools. And then we can take waypoint seven and wind up with the runway. So pretty much that's, that's how easy it is to use this new route tool. And now once you've set up your route, and let's say you would use this more often, and like you like this, like this server, and you fly this route more often, you can also save a preset. So let's say it's an F-16 Hatai, you know, because you attack Hatai with an F-16, for example. And now you have saved this preset. You can go here, let's say Incirc. We have our F-16 selected, everything's selected. Let's take a different photo and spawn hot. We load into the aircraft. We can zoom in on the screen. And if we uh, zoom out a little bit, we can see our little making of waypoints here. So really, that's all there is to it. The new route tool makes it easy to pre-plan your mission before you get into the cockpit and removes the hassle of inputting coordinates for each waypoint. Let me know what you think of this new tool in the comments. If you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like on the video. Alright, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!